Austin is a city that is serious about its tacos. If you visit almost any street, alley, or intersection in the entire city, you're gonna find a truck, a trailer, some kind of business that sells tacos. We're about to embark on a little mini taco crawl right now and see where the day takes us. We're here at Veracruz Taco Truck, though it's actually a giant school bus painted white. I'm gonna try one of these famous migas breakfast tacos. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Do you think I could get migas tacos? Uh, do you want them flour or corn tortilla? Let's do corn. What's going on? You got? I hear you got ditched by some friends. I got left alone at this little taco stand, but it's okay because they have the best fish tacos on the planet. What do you think is special about this particular place? It's family run. I've kind of seen it from the beginning when it was a tiny, tiny little Little bitty trailer. Little baby school bus. Little baby school. No, it was just, I mean, just a little trailer. Is Austin a, like a taco town? Because I think most people think of it as a barbecue town, first and foremost. Before I moved here, I was told that if I could not eat Mexican food every meal, that I should not move to Austin. My friends are here from New Orleans. We've had Mexican food every meal for four days, at least. Wow. Do you know what kind of fish? Tilapia. You know what kind of fish is tilapia? Yeah. And do they grill it or do they fry it? It's grilled. And it has a little, I think, mango kind of chutney. Well, now look, you're totally making me look like an idiot here because I went and ordered these migas tacos that everyone said were so good. They are good. Do you think if I share my taco with you, would you let me sample your fish taco? Habsies. You heard it here first. <laughs> I got my breakfast tacos. Sarah's still waiting for her fish tacos, the sucker. <laughs> Opening this up, I'm very excited. It has uh, egg, cheese, crushed up tortilla chips, which is kind of the most exciting thing, pico de gallo, and avocado. Mm-hmm. Really soft, fresh corn tortilla. You got the scrambled eggs, you got onions, tomato, the whole pico de gallo, it's nice and tart, citrusy. They're not just raw, crunchy, tortilla chips. They're like a little bit soggy, like a like a chilaquiles. And the whole thing makes for a very satisfying, complete breakfast packet. And I do have to say, it is well worth the wait. Taco Taste Test Throwdown. Sarah here insists on the superiority of her selection. I happen to be very happy with this Migas breakfast taco. So we're gonna do a little swappy, little tasty, little comparison. That fish taco is very, very good. I think maybe we can agree that they're both great tacos. Sort of depends on what you want, but off to the next stop. Off into the unknown taco yonder. Hey, we're amongst the auto repair and glass shops on East Cesar Chavez. Quiero este taco de pastor y un taco de suadero y un taco de bistec. Oh, wow. Okay, sí. Voy a comer una quesadilla también. Sí, sí, sí. Taco crawl. And hopefully this man mows the lawn the entire time I'm talking. Bachelor number one. Taco campechano. Mixed meats, more than one meat. Chorizo and steak on a handmade corn tortilla. A lot of times if you just get a pure chorizo taco, it can kind of overwhelm everything. So this is actually nice to sort of cut it half and half with some steak. The tortilla is really nice too, very thin, kind of crispy. So the Taco Al Pastor actually has a pretty interesting story. Around the turn of the century, Lebanese migrants by most accounts came to Mexico fleeing the rule of the Ottoman Empire. They brought the tradition of the shawarma, lamb meat, on a big spit, rotating spit. It, it became pork on a spit, topped with a pineapple. Really tender pork that has kind of like some nice burn bits in it. It's a little bit sweet. It's really spicy and really peppery. And it's got a pretty strong uh, chili component to it. This last one is beef. This is nice. This is the steak mixed with suadero because you've got sort of this contrasting textures uh, from the different cuts. Oh, chilanga, by the way, I've learned is uh, just someone from Mexico City. So it could be a chilango or a chilanga. Bonus round, quesadilla. It's a little bit mealier. I, I think I like the tacos better. This is really good. But anyways, that's Taqueria La Chilanga. Off to Mellizos Tacos in Austin.
I've heard the, the fried avocado taco is really good. Yes, it's one of the best. And then I'd like also a Padre taco. Okay, I'll go right out. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. So Let's start with fried avocado guy, because I don't know if I've ever actually had a fried avocado taco before. You've got the creamy avocado, right? Super light, flaky, fried, like tempura batter around the creamy avocado, and then kind of bitter arugula. It's got this like sherry vinaigrette on it. It tastes like a lovely salad. There's something really nice about having that chlorophyll in with something really greasy and bad for you, and that's why that taco I think was a real winner. Really, 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 really. That was too many reallys. Fried avocado taco, you're a winner in my book. And now we've got the Padre taco. This is braised carnitas pork with avocado as well, and then also pineapple and salsa. So this is sort of a riff on the pastor taco. This is outstanding stringy, fibrousy, juicy pork mixed with the creamy avocado. And then you've kind of got these little like snappy bits of pineapple. And it makes for a really, really, really satisfying bite, I think. These are two handsome additions to the taco crawl. Paragon of the form in the Austin taco pantheon. These, you better watch out for that bird. That bird's gonna eat your tacos. There was a big bird. This has been a great taco crawl. We didn't get to cover, obviously, all the tacos that Austin has to offer, but I, the things that we tried, I really enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dining on a Dime Austin, and if you'd like to watch more, please click here. And what these are, are essentially giant fried tacos filled with shredded chicken meat. Mm-hmm. These are good.